Bacterial vaginosis versus chlamydia symptoms, let's talk about it. One of the main things that bacterial vaginosis and chlamydia actually have in common is that they can both be asymptomatic. Chlamydia has been dubbed the silent infection because many people don't actually realize that they have it. And similarly, up to 84% of people with bacterial vaginosis may not experience any symptoms at all. So that's why it's really important to get tested for STIs like chlamydia or vaginal infections like bacterial vaginosis, again, because they can both be asymptomatic. And letting chlamydia and bacterial vaginosis go untreated can be very detrimental for your vaginal health. Okay, but when BV and chlamydia do show symptoms, what do they look like? So with bacterial vaginosis, you may notice an increase in discharge that's thin, gray, watery, and has a strong fishy odor. You may also experience pain, discomfort, or itchiness in general, and also with sex or peeing. Chlamydia, on the other hand, will cause an unusual vaginal discharge that's typically white or yellow and has a foul smell. You may also notice cloudy urine, a frequent need to pee, and a burning or discomfort when you do go pee. Additional symptoms include painful intercourse, some pain or tenderness in the lower belly, vaginal bleeding between periods or during or after sex, painful periods, and then itching or burning around the vagina. So again, some areas that chlamydia and BV symptoms can overlap is they can both be asymptomatic. You also may notice some itching or burning around the vagina, and then there is a change in odor and sometimes discharge.